we're going to dive a little bit further into uh, wide area networks and the technologies involved and we're going to talk about some of the encapsulation that's available to you for your WAN protocols. So there's a number of them uh, that are out there. Uh, one of the most popular with uh, Cisco devices is HDLC. Uh, this is your default encapsulation and the one uh, that Cisco uses is actually specifically Cisco proprietary but it isn't necessarily uh, with other vendors it's just Cisco has some extra stuff that they added into it uh, there's also PPP point-to-point -point protocol uh, and that uses HDLC uh, but includes security such as PAP and CHAP We also have a uh, serial line internet protocol, so SLIP. And SLIP is uh, a point-to-point -point protocol, but it's older, so it was replaced with PPP. We also have X25 which has a dot in there, X25, uh, also known as uh, Link Access Procedure Balanced, LAPB. But we'll just call it that, X25. And uh, X25 specifies uh, connections between the DTE and the DCE. And this is mostly replaced with Frame Relay. Of course, since we mentioned Frame Relay, we have Frame Relay, which is uh, certainly older, but still used quite often uh, today. And one of its fancy features is it has virtual circuits. Or VCs. And it does so on layer 2. So it is agnostic to your layer 3 protocols. And then we also have ATM, asynchronous transfer mode. And that's uh, we talked about already. Uh, and that's used in service providers, really. Overhead. It's got more overhead because it's got smaller little bits of data. So what we'll do is we'll clear this out and we're going to talk a little bit more about HDLC. So uh, with HDLC was developed by ISO, the International Organization for Standardization. They've cropped up quite a few times already. And uh, specifically it's ISO uh, 132 39 is the spec that discusses HDLC. And uh, what HDLC does is it defines a framing method for providing flow control and error control through acknowledgments. So it uses ACTS. It also uses a frame delimiter to mark the beginning and end of each frame. So it'll say, uh, it'll have a series of bits in the beginning and end saying that there's a frame coming and going. And as I mentioned, uh, the one that Cisco uses has some. Uh, Cisco editions, so it's proprietary. <laughs> On Cisco. But specifically because it's an ISO standard, the actual HDLC standard alone is vendor neutral. Uh, 
Cisco suggests, though, since you're using Cisco devices theoretically going through CCNA, if you're going to connect to other vendors, uh, they recommend PPP. So, since I mentioned PPP, let's talk about PPP a little bit. So, PPP, point to point protocol, uh, should be used between vendors, as mentioned. Uh, it provides framing for transporting a bunch of different protocols. It uses uh, link control protocol, LCP, to bring up a connection. And then it has a series of NCPs, which are uh, network control protocols for different layer 3 protocols that you're going to use. So you have an IPv4 one, you have uh, an IPv6 one, we keep mentioning it even though no one uses it. We have Apple Talk and IPX and etc. Uh, and it also does uh, some nice things of, such as link quality and management. So uh, you know if it detects something's going wrong, it'll it'll know about that. Uh, and it also does security, as I mentioned. So we have PAP and CHAP, which we'll go over. Within PPP, there's uh, three phases to its session uh, on how it uh, negotiates a connection. So you have uh, phase one, two, and three. And phase one is to establish a link and do some negotiation. Phase two, it does a link quality check. In phase three, the uh, NCPs are negotiated. And uh, with the LCP I mentioned, the LCP provides a series of things as well. Uh, it does so with a uh, packet size. How big is this going to be? Uh, configuration errors link termination and failure and negotiation of what encapsulation you're going to use, authentication, compression, error detection you can check what encapsulations you're using on an interface by going into the interface and um, doing a... I'm going to cut that there. <laughs>